Hello and welcome to Telecom TV. We are here in the City of London at the Internet of Insurance event and I'm talking with Matteo Carboni who is principal at Bain & Company and Bain & Company is a strategic consultancy out of Milan in Italy. Yes. Matteo, welcome. Thanks for talking to us. Now, we, when we were talking off camera just now, you were saying that six months or so ago you set up an observatory on connected insurance and IoT. Two questions to begin with. Why did you, why did you do that and what has the result been? So, uh, we created the think tank on connected insurance, so usage of Internet of Things on insurance sector. Uh, we had in Italy a huge experience on auto, auto telematics, where the penetration is 16% on overall uh, portfolio. So based on that, uh, there are a lot of uh, knowledge on the market and uh, we would like uh, to uh, spread that knowledge and the culture of innovation around all the insurance market in Italy. So this was the reason because we created that think tank to put the player, the incumbent, uh, around the table discussing this innovation. Uh, the results. We was able to uh, make them aware about uh, the amazing results each of them was able to achieve uh, using telematics. We, the second result we uh, achieved was uh, to clarify to them which could be the next step. So, which is the challenge that an insurer today have to front, to replicate that experience on other business line, to do a step further on motor. Okay, thank you. Now, you have evidence then, You've, from, from your, your, your think tank, from the observatory, you have evidence from the market. What, how did you achieve, where did you get that evidence from? How many, how many uh, insurance organizations, whatever they may be, have contributed to the knowledge that you have? So. Uh, currently we have uh, 30 insurers, so uh, two-thirds of the Italian market, three main reinsurers, 12 partners, so vendors that are uh, keen to talk with the insurer to uh, discuss the innovation. And uh, we have the Italian Association of Insurers, we have the regulator at the table, so every of them are um, providing the thoughts. So, uh, we are not a cleaning house, uh, we, 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 we set up a table. We set up a table where there uh, was able to, to discuss. And what were the results of the discussions? What did you find? What came out of the discussions so far? That uh, on uh, motor, uh, telematics is able to generate value from a, for an insurer. So he's able to select the risk. It's impressive how is the difference from the same kind of client with boxes and without boxes. So with traditional variables you uh, identified one cluster, the same cluster with boxes and without boxes. Completely different uh, claims frequency. Then uh, best practice was able to generate value. So not only select good and bad, but addressing better claims. So having objective information about the claim settlement. This uh, was the concrete results uh, the market was able to achieve on motor. So we're talking here, let's get, it, let's get it clear so the viewers understand, you're talking about a specific sector within insurance which is automotive insurance yes. and the fact that many cars and many higher cars now have various software devices in them to indicate, to show and to record how people drive them. In reality the technology is provided by insurer. So. Uh, the 4 million of cars uh, going around the Italy with a box fitted, that box is provided by their insurer. So in the future, uh, we will have also built-in technology with different quality, so it will be more complex the future than today. Today is a solution in-house from an insurer. Tomorrow we will have solution in-house, mobile apps, uh, built-in solution. An insurer with one of the challenge we focus it is that an insurer have to deal with that complexity. Now this is this is the benefit seems to me be to be on both sides. If a consumer, if <coughs> someone who is paying the premium, someone who is being insured, has a vehicle with a box in it, and it shows that his driving is consistently good and within the legal parameters and everything else, then he gets a cheaper premium. For the insurer, the insurer knows 
that this this guy is a good risk, this woman is a good risk and therefore it's worth lowering the premium to keep that person on board because they're willing to have the box inside the car. Sure. That flies in the face of what insurance used to be which was on always on a pooled basis. You had a pool of knowledge about about the premium payers, those who are being insured, that there would be, you know, an, an algorithm for this. There would be the the, the old sine sine wave uh, statistical curve showing that so many percent are going to be good, so many percent are going to be bad, and the premiums are spread over the whole lot. Do you have evidence that, as a result of what you've done through the observatory, that the insurers themselves are saving money? So the evidence is that uh, the portfolio with telematics. Uh, is more profitable uh, for the best practice sure uh, because they are sharing the value they are creating with the customer but they are keeping part of that value on their PL. who are not a best practice uh, that was probably less able to change their claim process uh, probably have not so many evidence about an increase of profitability so it's not automatic you have not you take the technology your portfolio became more profitable you have to work on it I think that uh, from an overall perspective, we mentioned uh, insurer, we mentioned uh, customers, but also for the society. Connected insurance is a huge opportunity because if you have uh, a way that uh, make your drive to be less risky, to do less claims, uh, also for the society, you are generating uh, positive externality. You are reducing the health cost of the system because they don't want to manage uh, what happened after a fatal crash. Uh, you, are, you can make your customer to consume less fuel. Okay, fine, good, get the point. So you're creating value here um, in terms of impact on profitability and so on. What about the insurance industry that you're dealing with as far as the next step is concerned? Has the result of what has been happening through your consultancy and your observatory and all the evidence you now have within it, is that showing the insurers the next step forward? And if so, what is that next step? Two next steps. Two next steps. Okay. One on auto, what do we know better? Yeah. Now they are keen to work on data. So till now they keep uh, the quick wins. Now they would like to create knowledge about the risk, uh, about their customer. So uh, this is one. Second instead is to replicate the same approach in other business lines. In Italy currently we have already five commercial product uh, on uh, house business uh, that is based uh, on a technology. So uh, a box fitted in your house with sensor for smoke, for water, for intrusion. It's the first experiment. We will need time to have uh, something uh, so uh, material as we have a motor. So uh, insurer have to try, to file, to try it again. But uh, this is uh, the, the path. So they are experimenting the, uh, the same approach on house, on health, so all the personal lines. And they are starting to think also to industrial risk. It will be the next wave. So final question to you, Matteo, is how, what is the next step forward for you? You've, you've only been going six months as, uh, with, with the observatory, with, with, the, with that sort of consultancy on the, on the insurance side. You're going to amass more evidence, then what will happen? I hope that uh, the fact that uh, every participant are uh, really engaged uh, with that observatory, that will become uh, a structured initiative. So we are planning the next year of the observatory and uh, on my personal uh, goal being there, I'm advisor for the insurer. So my business is uh, uh, advise them on their uh, daily business. So at the observatory, I'm able to discuss with them and to start uh, to work with them uh, on a daily basis uh, to innovate the insurance sector. Very interesting how things are changing. Matteo Carboni, thank you very much indeed. Thank you to you.